So, hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm very excited. We're going to try today two new products from Huda Beauty. It's Tan Tour Contour and Bronzer Cream I have in shade Light and also the Huda Beauty Extra Hold Resting Boss Face Setting Spray. And I watched a couple of reviews. It's not very a popular product. The, it holds the makeup in place for the whole day, really. But many people complain about the scent and I did spray it on my hand when I received it because I wanted to see if it was if it was that big of a problem the perfume scent uh, because I do know it contains alcohol and, but it's nothing that really bothers me so much and uh, it <laughs> I was very excited when it launched but I have to say that the scent is so strong it's very strong, but I want to see if it's going to last all day because the strong, the smell is very, very strong. It did uh, hold on my hand for a long time, but we'll see how it's going to feel on the face. I want to compare it. I'm going to put the half of the face with this set, set half of the face with this and the rest of the, the other half with this Scandinavia uh, fixing all controls that I use right now. Uh, I'm almost done with this. Because I know how it works. I do have the Bounce Beauty Blender foundation on and uh, cons uh, Jeffree Star concealer on. I can't find my Huda Beauty concealer. And I did pick up this in light because the fair looked very nice. I thought that was more like neutral shade. But it, when I saw the swatches, it blended to nothing on some very light skin tone. So I wanted to try the light one. So the fair, I felt like it was too fair for me. I love the packaging. I did swatch it yesterday when I received it. Uh, and I love the packaging. The shade looks nice. I'm very excited to try it. I do have the brush also. And I'm going to create another makeup look with this neon palette. So if you're interested, of course, I'm going to use Huda Beauty lipstick i just said i can't find the concealer i don't know where i put it but i didn't set my makeup but well, let's start and see how this makeup will turn out so if you're interested please keep on watching so i am going to take this brush and use it for the contour and i'm going to do like she did on one of her videos, the Huda Beauty. Apply to contour. I didn't set my makeup. Ooh. This one feels very creamy and nice, but also not too creamy. It has like that powdery, I don't know how to say, powdery feeling to it. But I really like this shade. I think it's a nice shade. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to contour the nose a little bit too. blending down. Well, I'm very excited about this product. So let's start with this and see if we can blend it. The brush is very soft. And it blends so easy. I really like the shade, especially when I'm a little bit more tan. But I think it works very nice also for the skin tone, for my skin tone right now too. I don't need to use this much. But it gives me that nice bronzy look. I like it. I'm not going to use any other bronzer. I want to see how this is going to last on my skin. And my foot is killing me. My god, it blends very nice. I really look how it blended, uh, how it blended into my skin, and it looks very, very nice. I really like it. I like this product. So I'm going to go and set the face and then we'll, um, 
actually going to um, speed the makeup look so you can see what I'm doing but I'm not going to talk through it uh, but before I do I really want to set my face I'm going to use Jeffree Star powder I can't go upstairs and look for the Huda Beauty powder my leg is killing me Okay, so the makeup look is very easy and I do like it. It's very summery and nice. Uh, I'm, I want to set my makeup before I go in with the lipstick and before I go in with mascara so I don't smudge mascara or do smudge the lipstick. And I know the scent is so strong. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use it on this half of the face. Let's see. Oh, I got some in my eye. Mm. She also recommend. oh my God, it's strong. She also recommends to wet the sponge. I'm going to do that just a little bit and to kind of go in there. So I want to do that too. Sometimes I do go over my beauty blender. Oh my, everything melted so nice into the skin. So we'll see how this is going to hold. I mean, it's strong. It's very strong scent, but when I don't have headache, I can use it. But it's a really strong pack. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much. So let's just feels like I have perfume all over the kitchen right now. Let's use this on this side. I'm going to take the other side of the beauty blender and just. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. So guys, this is the final look. Uh, it's basic. I just wanted to try the setting spray and this product. I really like this product. I really, really like it. Definitely going to use it all the time. Uh, setting spray, very strong, but I really want to see how it's going to hold. And of course the, I'll, the this cute palette I like. So it's 9.39 and uh, almost 10 o'clock and I'm going to wear this the whole day and I see you in a couple of hours. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm sorry I'm shaking the camera because I'm holding it in my hand. It's kind of heavy. Um, okay, let's see if we can do it like this. So now you zoomed a little bit. Okay, so 
it's now almost eight o'clock at night or evening and I had this makeup on since 10 o'clock this morning so it's been 10 hours um, and uh, this is how it looks on this side I had um, Huda Beauty setting powder and on this side we had the uh, Scandinavian oil control and I can say that it almost look the same except wait except that this side where I had the Huda Beauty looks a little bit less cakey here all around my smile lines when I just saw myself in the mirror very close I could see here that the makeup is kind of looking cakey and around here it's, it looks less cakey but otherwise otherwise it looks I know it may be just just a little bit more oil, feels more more oily on this side I can't see any difference if there is um, I mean when I look at myself in the mirror I can see that it's my skin looks uh, even oily if I can say even shiny but on this side it feels more oily I don't know if, I, if that makes any sense but when I look at myself it looks the same if I look closer I can see that these these parts are less cakey than this side but also the feeling here I feel like uh, more dry uh, more dry but on this side it feels heavier and it feels more oily and I do like the Huda Beauty setting, par uh, setting spray but guys the perfume scent it uh, hold on the for hours so it didn't disappear immediately I could smell it for a couple of hours two three hours and if you were sensitive to scent I wouldn't recommend it I will definitely not wear it when I feel like my headache is going going to uh, if I'm going to get my headache if I can feel that my migraine is going to um, be a problem that day I won't wear it then because it you can feel it you can smell it um, that's a bad thing I will try to just set the um, spray the beauty blender and set it that way maybe that works much better but I do like it I just wish that Huda Beauty took away a little bit of that perfumey scent because it's too strong otherwise it's a nice product but I would not buy it again uh, because of the scent that's the only reason the scent it's too strong but guys, that was everything. The contour is beautiful. I love that tan product from Huda Beauty. That's amazing. I will definitely continue using it. And guys, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.